What is going on everybody? For those who don't know, I go by BLSG and this is another Eagles game preview. If you guys are new to this channel and love talking Philly sports nearly every single day, go down below and hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you guys are instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. Now tonight at 8.15 Eastern Time, the Philadelphia Eagles take on the Seattle Seahawks. But if you guys think to yourselves and realize that we have not been so great against Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks and realize that we will not be able to win this game possibly, but at least we can go out and try to put some effort into this game. Smash the like button. With all that being said, before we get started in this game, I just want to say some notes on these two teams. The Eagles, ranked on defense, are ranked as the number 15th ranked defense overall. The Seahawks defense is ranked number 28 overall. So Seattle's defense is really trash, and our defense is better than them. So our defense better try to come up and try to get a lot of pressure on Russell Wilson. And our offenses with ours and Seattle's, ours is pretty bad. But Seattle's is really good with Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf. But we're going to try to put up a fight with Carson Wentz slash Jalen Hurts with Travis Fulgham with quarterback and wide receiver buys. So those are my notes on the two teams. With all that being said, you know how we like it. I'm going to start off with my three keys for us to winning this game tonight. Alright guys, so my three keys for us to winning this game tonight against the Seattle Seahawks. My number one key for us to win this game is to protect Carson Wentz. Yes, Carson Wentz has not been protected so much because of the O-line of Philadelphia. And Lane Johnson just went out with an ankle injury that is going to take four to five months to heal. So he is likely to go ahead and get moved to IR, which they have not done yet. And he will need surgery for four to five months so he will be out for the rest of the season Lane Johnson and your starting lineup for the game tonight is going to be at left tackle you have Jordan Mailata at left guard you have Isaac Sayumalo at center you have Jason Kelsey at right guard you finally have Jason Peters and at right tackle you surprisingly have Matt Pryor over Jack Driscoll Matt Pryor does actually have experience unlike Jack Driscoll in the NFL. So Matt Pryor has been there, so I think that's why he's going to start over Jack Driscoll because Jack Driscoll, a rookie tackle out of, I believe it was Auburn that he played for, is not ready to shine yet, and he has struggled. So Matt Pryor will get the start at right tackle to replace Lane Johnson. So... My number one key is to protect Carson Wentz for the O-line. My number two key for us to win this game is to run the ball a lot in this one. Yes, Doug Peterson has been telling Carson Wentz to constantly just throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. No, Doug, stick with what works. Use the running game. Use Miles Sanders. Use Boston Scott. You alternate running backs constantly. Don't stick with the passing game if you know it's not going to work. Change your mind and use the run game more because that is what Seattle is going to struggle with and is what works for our offense. And my number three for us, key for us to win this game is just to go out and put a triumph into this game. The Eagles at least just need to show me something that they can prove that they can win this game tonight against Seattle. Because Doug Pearson is 0-3 when he is facing Pete Carroll and the Seattle Seahawks. And Russell Wilson is a very good quarterback. Even though he threw, I think it was 10 interceptions that he threw already. But he threw for a lot of touchdowns. I don't know the number. But he did just throw for a lot of touchdowns. And Carson Wentz has been struggling. So I'm expecting a lot of Jalen Hurts in this one. With all that being said, let's get into my two standout Eagles. Alright guys, so my two standout Eagles for this game. My number one standout Eagle, I'm going Miles Sanders. I think Miles Sanders will have a great game. 
when it comes to the run game because Seattle's defense is not looking so good right now. And they will probably be continuing that as Miles Sanders will run through their defense when Seattle does not have Jadavion Clowney anymore, which was a huge boost for them at their defensive line. But without Jadavion Clowney, they have to rely on, I believe his name is Benson Mayawa. But he's not that great, so Miles Sanders should easily be able to run through these guys without getting tackled for negative yardage. For my number two standout eagle, I'm going with TF13. Is TF13 is one of the Eagles' best wide receivers on the squad, and I think he have, can have a good game, depending who he's matched up on, whether if it's Jamal, guys like Jamal Adams, etc., etc. Whoever he's on, he better take out. It's probably going to be Jamal Adams that he's on, but we'll see how it is tonight. But I really think it's going to be Jamal Adams on... TF13, and hopefully TF13 outruns Jamal Adams and gets more catches than interceptions when Carson or Jalen Hurts is targeting. Now, Miles Sanders and TF13 are my two standout eagles. Let's get into my breakout eagle. Alright guys, so my breakout eagle for this game, this one is going to be from defense, and my standout... Not stand out. My breakout eagle is going to be Darius Slay. Because Darius Slay has not had a pick, an interception, or anything since the beginning of this season. And I think he will get something to Im put impact on DK Metcalf, which is possibly who he's going to be on. And Darius Slay will probably have one or two interceptions in this one really put pressure on Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks when it comes to Russell Wilson throwing the ball down to DK Metcalf. Now, Darius Slay is my breakout eagle. Let's get into my hot take. Alright guys, so my hot take for this game is going back on offense, but I'm going in one position that I have never announced yet in my entire life. I'm going to that quarterback position, and I'm going to say that Jalen Hurts gets more snaps of the ball than Carson Wentz. Yes, there was a rumor that Doug Pearson said in his press conference that someone asked him, who will be your starting quarterback on Monday, Carson Wentz or Jalen Hurts? Doug Pearson said Carson Wentz, but in my opinion, I just have a feeling that Jalen Hurts will have more time to shine. And Ian Rapport was the one who put that out all over social media. And in my opinion, Jalen Hurts is going to have more snaps than Carson Wentz because Carson Wentz only has 14 touchdowns thrown and 14 interceptions, which is very bad stats as a veteran QB who's entering his fifth year with the Philadelphia Eagles. So I think it's Jalen Hurts' time, and I think it's time for Jalen Hurts to get more playing time in this organization tonight. So with all that being said, let's get into what you guys have been waiting for, my score prediction. Alright guys, so my score prediction for this game, Seattle has definitely had our number. We have not beaten Seattle since 2008 when we had Donovan McNabb, and Wentz is playing like garbage right now. So I need Jalen Hurts to really come into this game and try to lead the Eagles to victory, but I don't think it happens. Because I just think that, considering that, Jalen Hurts is going to get more playing time, though, like Ian Rappaport said when Doug Pearson said it in his press conference. I still think that the Seahawks can potentially beat us still. And Carson Wentz is going to struggle. Jalen Hurts might struggle early, but might start to click it together like this, hopefully. But Russell Wilson has still had the Eagles number. Still has Pete Carroll. DK Metcalf had our number last season. And I had the Eagles, unfortunately, losing this game 27 to 17. It's just that Carson Wentz cannot put enough effort together. And hopefully Jalen Hurts will get more playing time. So that way the score is hopefully closer than what people think. And since Seattle has had our number in the last 12 years, 
I'm going to have to give it to Seattle once again to keep the streak going that the Eagles have not beat the Seattle Seahawks since 2008. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell to see more videos like this. And let me know your three keys to the game, your standout eagle, your breakout eagle, your hot take, and your score prediction. Throw them down in the comments below. I want to see what you guys think. And let's go birds tonight. Let's try to show some effort and pride and maybe try to get the W, but we probably won't. Anyway guys, see you next time. Peace out.